This is Trade Flow News, bringing you relevant news and insights from around the world. Trade Flow News, enabling trade for SMEs and economies worldwide. These are some of the key topics that we will be looking into in today's program. First, let's take a look at the overnight headlines which are impacting the commodity markets. U.S. oil output and global oil demand will likely post bigger records this year than previously expected, the U.S. Energy Information Administration said on Tuesday. The agency now expects U.S. oil output to grow by around 310,000 barrels per day, BPD, to 13.24 million barrels of oil per day this year about 40,000 barrels of oil per day higher than its previous forecast in May. It expects U.S. output to be around 13.71 million barrels of oil per day next year, slightly below the previous 13.73 million barrels of oil per day forecast. Global oil demand this year is also expected to be above estimates, which were already forecast to hit record highs, according to the June edition of the EIA's short-term energy outlook. OPEC on Tuesday stuck to its forecast for relatively strong growth in global oil demand in 2024, despite lower than expected use in the first quarter, saying travel and tourism would support consumption in the second half of the year. The Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries, in a monthly report, said world oil demand will rise by 2.25 million barrels per day BPD, in 2024 and by 1.85 million barrels of oil per day in 2025. Both forecasts were unchanged from last month. OPEC's report is the latest to flag robust oil market conditions heading into the second half of the year. Oil rose 3% on Monday after Goldman Sachs said transport demand would push the market into a third-quarter deficit. Moving on to the top news in the energy sector. Global oil demand will peak by 2029 and begin to contract the next year, the International Energy Agency said on Wednesday while oil supply capacity is due to vastly outpace demand by the end of the decade. The Paris-based energy watchdog sees supply capacity hitting nearly 114 million barrels per day, BPD, by 2030, or a full 8 million barrels of oil per day above projected demand in its annual oil report. This report's projections, based on the latest data, show a major supply surplus emerging this decade suggesting that oil companies may want to make sure their business strategies and plans are prepared for the changes taking place, IEA Executive Director Fati Birol said. Kuwait has cut the official selling price, OSP, for Kuwait Export Crude, KEC, to Asia in July by 40 cents from the previous month to $1.95 a barrel above the average of Oman, Dubai quotes, a price document reviewed by Reuters showed on Wednesday. The producer also reduced the July Kuwait Super Light Crude, KSLC, OSP to $1.95 a barrel above Oman, Dubai quotes, 40 cents lower than the previous month. Next, we have the top news in metal markets. India's Finnish steel imports touched a five-year high in the first two months of the fiscal year that began in April, with the country continuing to be a net importer, according to provisional government data seen by Reuters. Steel demand has been buoyant in India, the world's second biggest crude steel producer, as the country remained a bright spot globally with robust demand from its construction and automotive sectors. India imported 1.1 million metric tons of finished steel between April and May, up 19.8% from a year earlier, the data showed. Demand for gold in Asia is surging despite prices hovering near the record highs it hit in May, industry officials say as buyers snap up the metal to hedge against geopolitical and economic uncertainty. Spot gold is trading a little over $2,300 per ounce, up about 12% year-to-date and only about 6% shy of the record high it hit last month. Lower confidence in other investment options, such as real estate and equities, is also a factor behind the demand for gold, analysts say. We will now look at the top news in the agricultural sector. The world's second-largest cocoa producer Ghana is looking to delay delivery of up to 350,000 tonnes of beans to next season due to poor crops, five sources told Reuters in a further worsening of the outlook for the global chocolate industry. Chocolate makers around the world are raising prices for consumers after cocoa more than doubled in value this year alone following a third year of poor harvests in Ghana and Ivory Coast, responsible for 60% of global production. 
the market had previously estimated Ghana would roll forward some 250,000 metric tons of cocoa, equivalent to about half its current crop. Cocoa Bard, Ghana's cocoa regulator, said the country was looking to roll over some volumes, but not in those 350,000 ton quantities. That is all for today's news on commodity markets. Stay tuned to Trade Flow News as we continue to provide you with more updates. We also invite you to follow us on Twitter at Trade Flow News, which allows you to watch our program on your mobile device or desktop to receive information from there.